ஹலோ வித் தீஸ் அருள் புஷ்பா ஸோ வெல்கம் டு சைட் கோர் ஷேட்ஸ் டுடே ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு ஆட் தி சர்ச் பாக்ஸ் காம்பனண்ட் இன் த பேஜ் ஸோ ஐ ஜஸ்ட் கிரியேட் ஒன் எம்டி பேஜ் நவ் அண்ட் தி திஸ் அவர் டெமோ பேஜ் ஹியர் வி கேன் சி தட் சர்ச் பாக்ஸ் ஸோ த சேம் சர்ச் பாக்ஸ் ஐ எம் கோயிங் டு ஆட் நவ் ஃபஸ்ட் ஐ வில் ஆட் த ரோ Then split the rows. Okay, I have done In the first row, I would like to add my search component. We can use the add components here or else we can use this option. Let me use this option. Search, then search box. okay so it's going to create the data source uh, so if you are planning to use the shared data source location then you can go with this option actually i would like to um, keep that uh, data source location in the local so i just uh, choose this option the data then let me give the name search box right so yes see search box search box okay it's loaded now i can give the label name okay you can search here and then save meantime we can check the uh, search box logic here okay I type the value it's giving the auto complete everything okay the save uh, it should work in our page okay it's uh, saved actually i'm using the master database in my sxs site so i don't need to publish the page i can simply refresh yeah okay you can search here okay it's good and here i can see the button and uh, uh, label name uh let me um quickly show the data source item the sc set and data source yeah the sc search box so here we can customize the button name i would like to give the button name as search sc search and then search here is um hey type your word here your word and then hey can search here it's it's looking good then save and then refresh the page okay wow great it's affected and then we can check the logics now okay trying to search it's not coming yeah so uh auto complete is coming but it's still empty so let me quickly check that okay so this is my um search box here you can see edit component properties and here we need we need to define two section one is the rendering variant rendering variant is uh, give the uh, result of auto complete and next one is the search scope i i need to uh, tell the uh, location to my search box then only it will uh, do the search so here i can see the search scope as already we seen the search scope in settings and the scope and training and all training so here i have given the location of the data um, data source and the template name as well so we can use the same one so if we use this one the expected result we could verify here if you click on the build query it will give all the result okay this as the result will come in my search box so let me give the all training search scope and next one is the um maximum predictive result count so whenever i type the uh, box so here i am typing the values here you can see 1 2 3 4 5 five results only i could see so if i give 
uh, I would see 10 result. Let's check. And the next one is if you like to um, actually um, if I uh, give the auto complete if I uh, select the auto complete value, it will redirect to some other page. Actually, I didn't uh, configure that, but we have an option to configure that. We can directly um, redirect to that auto complete values to other pages. That is the search result page, and then number of re result triggers um, for auto completion. Okay, so um, here we can see when I enter the first value, the auto complete is not coming. Second value, yeah. When I enter the second value, it is giving the auto complete. I would like to check one value. Okay. So the expectation is whenever I type on the first word in my search box, it should give the auto complete. And then next one is the um, search variant. First, we will check. Uh, okay. Um, so uh, in the variant section, I am using the training variant. Already I have created this variant. I will show this. We can create the variance in presentation and then rendering variance in search box rendering section. Search box. Actually, I didn't create any structure for this one. It's already coming with uh, SXA site creation. I just created only this training. So if you see here, here I have defined that. So I just defined my field title here. So the title name is training title. So if you see the uh, data source location, my title name is training title. The same I'm using here. Uh, let me uh, cross check once the data and the training. So whenever do, uh, user to the search in my search box, I would like to give the auto complete in my title section. So here I could see the title. Then why I am using the uh, training title? Then we can confirm the um, field name in the template definition. Okay, in the template. Yeah, actually I have given the name as the training title, but um, I have given the um, display name as well. Yeah, here the title. I have given the title here, so only we can see only the title. But whenever um, we call this field in the uh, programming time, that time we need to use this training title. So I just uh, use it that one. And um, I first I just created the rendering variant. Then I defined that uh, title field here. Uh, here we can see the file uh, field name is the training title. So the exact rendering variant I have used in my page. So if you see here, variant, okay, the training variant. Uh, so which are the fields we need to um, fill? First one is the search scope. And uh, this one we can define. And then uh, search um, result page you can define. And then number of result, number of uh, characters to trigger the suggestion. And then variant, okay, everything is fine. Then okay, then save the page. Okay, let me type the value now. T. Yeah, exactly. I'm getting this auto complete values training. Okay. Yeah, it's working as expected. Thank you.